Hello, my name is Dave with Choice City Sprinklers, and I'm going to show you how to drain out your sprinkler backflow on the outside of your house in case of a hard freeze and you're unable to get a technician out uh, to do a winterization in time. So for this project, you need a flathead screwdriver and a bucket or a cup will do. Now let's go downstairs and locate our main water line. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. So first we're going to want to locate our uh, main water line. To do this, let's locate the pipe coming up out of the ground. It's typically in a uh, utility room. And follow this up. This first valve is the main shutoff for the house. Continuing up, we see this first T right here. So this T is going to be the irrigation line that goes to the outside of the house. Shut this off by turning it a quarter turn to the right. Some houses have a crank valve that you have to uh, crank until it fully shuts off. This alleviates the pressure that goes to the outside of the house. Now let's go outside and locate our backflow. That was fast. It's right here. So this is our backflow, which is what we're trying to protect uh, in case of a hard freeze. So to start, shut the bottom uh, ball valve off. Now take your uh, flathead screwdriver and open these two test cocks. You also want to open up any caps or other valves that you see. And finally, turn both of these to a quarter turn so that they're halfway open. This will uh, alleviate any water and let it run out that gets trapped inside of these ball valves. Now let's go back to the basement to finish up. Welcome back to my basement. Our final step is to uh, drain the water from right here that goes through the line to the outside of the house. Mine has a little cap on the side of the valve here. Other systems might have a little drain that needs to be opened, uh, but just open the drain or the cap and hold your bucket or cup underneath there to drain the water out. Typically it's about 32 ounces or so. Now I know it can be frustrating uh, if there's a hard freeze coming and you can't get a technician out in time, but by doing these steps you can hopefully alleviate some of the pain of uh, having a freeze come and sleep a little bit better at night. Now what I would recommend is if you can only do one of these steps, shutting this main sprinkler line off on the inside would be the, the first thing I would do. Um, that will at least alleviate the pressure that goes to the outside of the house. Uh, if you're unable to locate your sprinkler line in the basement, then I would recommend going outside and locating the backflow, turning the bottom ball valve off, the first one coming from the house, and then opening the two test cocks on the side to drain out the backflow. And that will at least uh, protect the internal parts of the backflow. So I'm Dave with uh, Choice City Sprinklers, and please go to choicecitysprinklers.com to view uh, more ways you can winterize your system. Bye!